you ought to sing because you are happy and because you have been made free. is not sending young blood in the house for nothing. He's trying to stir something up in you that he knows is in you. So we might as well get stirred up. Hallelujah. This is a preamble to the word and before we get the word we gotta shake our, let our husband know we've been shook up in here. Hallelujah. That man want his bride to be on fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that was in you that was holding you down, you ought to turn it loose right now. Let it go. Let it go. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, we come today in your precious name, giving all honor to you, for you alone are worthy. We know that you're here in the midst of us. This is your day. We are your people and the sheep of your pasture. And we know that we don't have to ask you to come. You are already here. And we say, Todaya. Father, we bless your Kodesh name through your beloved Yahshua HaMashiach. Through his name we say, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Have your way in this word, my father. Use my lips, use my tongue. Use me to speak to your people from your word. Just have your way. Anybody need him today? Yes. Praise his name.
I come to be. I don't know about everybody else, but I need, I need it. Like a deer that panted for the water. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Right now, my Heavenly Father, we are here to hear from you. Speak a word, Father. Just one word would be substantial to change our lives. So we come humbly submitting ourselves to you. Because somewhere along the line, Father, we may have fell a little short. Didn't do all that we should have done. Didn't speak all that we should have spoken. So we come to you. We look to the hills from which cometh all of our help. Our help comes from you, Master. No other help do we know. For you are our very present help in these times of trouble. You told us perilous times were coming, but they are here now. And we are right in the middle of them. So I come to oh I come to thee give the father a hand clap of praise let him know that you're thankful for being here with us let him know that you're thankful that he forgave your sins let him know that you're thankful that you are grateful for your health and your strength. Let him know. Praise him. We're going to talk today. You know, last week, I think it was, I talked about getting up out of the dust. I believe some of us got up so that we can be in the light and not just say I'm in the light but walk in the light 
and let your light so shine that others will see it and run to it. Cry out, I want to be saved. It's time out for playing, church. We don't have time for that anymore. Can I get a witness? We're going to talk about shadows. What, what, what shadows? Shadows. We're going to talk about shadows. Some we need and some we don't. But there are shadows all around us. And I need you to understand that if it's telling you about a shadow, it's telling you about something that exists that is standing in the light and casting a shadow. We are talking about a shadow. One part of the word shadow is ayin, which is the eye. And the other part of it is a shepherd's staff. We have to understand that the Father is reaching to us to apprehend us, but most of all, to defend us. Now, I don't know how you feel about that, but I need defense. Yes, we do. He's our only defense. I can run a good offense, but I need some defense. Yes, we do. He's our defense. My son Thaddeus, he played a defensive posture on a football team and he was a big guy and he was a fast guy. He wouldn't just let somebody come get the quarterback and beat him up. He had to protect him. Right. <laughs> Ain't you? Well, he was the one trying to kill the quarterback. <laughs> I'll get it straight after a while, but I know he was a defensive end. All I'm saying is... For protection, we need a good defense. How many of us need some protection in here? Yeah. Yeah. Then we need a good defense. Uh, the word defense means to shade, to defend. Is that enough? When the sun is hot, what do you need? Shade. It's defending you from the heat of the sun. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today. So we're going to start off in the book of Bereshit. That's the book of Genesis, chapter 19. Praise him. Uh, Sometimes we forget. Mm -hmm. Now watch this, what we, was said here. We done read this many times. As, as Brother Johnson always say, everybody ought to know this. Yeah. Everybody in Genesis 19? Yes, sir. In verse number eight, No, we're going to start off in verse number five. But they called to Lot and said to him, where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out here to us and let us know 